Hey guys, Joshua Godamo here with another Gundam MSI review. And today we uh the backdrop is a hospital set for Gundam Father apiece. I should be filming it pretty soon. So uh on to our review. Today we're reviewing the RX78-2 version 1. This is the first release. It's the American version. And uh it's pretty much our first MSIA that was probably ever released. I'm I'm totally just guessing at that, but you know, it is from the first releases. Comes with several weapons. Comes with a beam rifle, which holds very well in the right hand, which has a gun trigger finger to it. Has its bazooka. Also holds that very well. So you can see. Well, sort of. <laughs> It uh, can also be stored back here, which is pretty cool. Comes with two beam sabers from its back. There you go. Two beam sabers. And a beam javelin. What the beam javelin is, who knows, but, uh, <laughs> no, I, I know, but it's just kind of an odd weapon, but, uh, hey, it's kind of cool. So that covers its weapons. This, uh, is probably the RX-78-2 with the, the least articulation, but, uh, still, it's not that bad. Arms still turn around like that, 360, hands turn 360. The arms turn 360, shoulder stays on okay. Can uh, almost reach its beam saber hilts. Make for some cool posing. The boosters do move. This one's from my personal collection. I probably glued the boosters in, which is why they're not moving. These boosters, uh, they just kind of clamp on, and so they can be easy to lose. So, you know, I sometimes glue mine in. Not the ones in my store. But, you know, for my personal collection, because there's nothing worse than having an RX-78 without any boosters. So, uh, I think this one I glued in. Still shouldn't... I don't know. It must be. It has a waist, obviously. You can turn 360 degrees pretty easily. Feet have a little bit of articulation. Leg goes that far back. Pretty good. A little bit forwards. Full leg goes that far forwards. And that far back. Legs can go out that far. So not bad articulation. But, uh, you know, there's there's very different versions of the RX-78. The downside of him is uh, his arm can sometimes just kind of come off. Just can't be helped with the, the version 1 design. But uh, what makes him worth it? Well... Let me say first that there's different versions of this figure. As in, this is the version 1, this is the G3 version, this is the real type version, and the GM version 1 is almost practically the same design except for the head has a ball joint. That's right, uh, the head turns 360, but it's like the Zaku 2 version 1. It's got a little peg that goes into the body rather than a peg that comes out of the body and the head attaches to. But uh, noting that, now this is a Japanese version GM with panel lining, the American ones don't. You can mesh your uh, Gundam version 1 with the GM version 1. Or even with the G3 or the real type. Other Gundam versions include the uh, version 2, which I, I thought this was the version 1.5. I actually grabbed my spare version 2. But the... Version 1.5 looks a lot like this. This is exactly what a version 1.5 looks like, only battle scarred. And then the real version 2, which has increased flexibility. Each is very cool in its own way, and uh, eventually we'll have reviews for all of them. But uh, yeah, this is the Gunnam version 1 RX 78 2. It's a good figure. Uh, the reason why I like the MSIAs is they're very durable. You know, if you knock it off your dresser by accident, worst thing that's going to happen is you'll have to put the arm back on. Ooh, you know, 
you're not going to end up breaking most of them. I mean, there's a few that might be a little more fragile in the joints, like uh, some of the Shars counterattacks, but by and by, the MSIAs are very durable. They're good for posing. Uh, they're, they're just a lot of fun. I really like them. So if you're looking for some Gundam MSIA for your collection, check out our eBay store, Gundams R Us, your favorite arms dealer. There's a link down below in the more info area. And uh, yeah, come check us out. Catch you guys later. Bye.